charter member of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day, the church in the Philippines is a vibrant community of over 8,000 members. Spread across the 7,100 islands that make up the Philippines, it is here where we have over 80 churches with a long and faithful history. Earlier this year, the church celebrated its 62nd anniversary and more recently hosted its 24th annual ministerial conference, bringing together 99 pastors. Also attending this event from the International Ministerial Congress were Brian Clayton, John Classic and Robert Onsando. The church here works actively to share the gospel and one of the most successful methods for this is by radio. We travelled to central Mindanao in the Philippines to visit a newly commissioned radio station owned and operated by the church and we spoke with a few of the people involved in this ministry. We noticed that we are here today on the, on the site of a newly launched radio station. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Uh, yes, uh, in fact, uh, many years when the Church of God 70 had get time in radio station nearby in their areas to on air, uh, so that the objective to help uh, proclaim the gospel, uh, they rented, uh, they get time uh, at the radio, they paid round uh, 12,000 pesos a month. So what they, re they captured is they receive a vision that uh, they, uh, they will pray and ask the Lord that the Lord will give them, uh, will give the church for the owned and managed by the church of seven day or a certain <laughs> radio station. And it so happened when they keep on dreaming and continue and praying in the Lord, there is somebody, uh, uh, a certain person, and then we use uh, Brother Nunoy Gamarcha, uh, who was met by our one pastor also, his name is uh, Pastor Toto Hamito, that uh, she, uh, he, he preached and shared the gospel, uh, teaching the doctrines, at one, and one time, uh, he, he, has, uh, he has operated a radio station, and one of his uh, unit, the transmitter, he donated it to the Church of God's Seventh Day. That's why the, the, the one who is uh, looking over this, uh, this project in Bukinon Province, the District 7A and 7B, uh, continuing their plan so that they can have the, the building and the tower, as well as all the equipments needed by this project. And what is uh, the hopes and aspirations now? Um, what is the target audience for this radio ministry? Okay, so my hope and my dream and my inspiration for this undertaking, the radio, is our passion for the lost, the lost people that uh, we never, uh, there is no somebody who is sharing and preaching in, especially in this area, the, the remote, the interior part of uh, even in the mountainous place so at home so never the no somebody is preaching them sharing them so maybe in this kind of uh, media in this kind of uh, in this kind of uh, method of how the word coming into their places mm. especially in their houses or even in their works mm. Now, there's, there's, I have a twofold question regarding sustainability. Yes. Sustainability of content and sustainability of finance into the future. Do you have any comments about that? Okay, so I am much grateful to God that uh, He uses uh, our brethren here, and not only in District 7A, 7B in Bukidnon Province, but uh, throughout the Philippines, the membership of the Church of God 70, Philippines contributing their offerings and their tithes those who are remitted in the National Treasury, the National Treasury will sit apart of, uh, uh, and um, unmount so that we can support also the, the projects so that we can be able to sustain. And maybe uh, those who will come in to make an advertisement, and uh, I'm thankful also that God has given us much door of opportunity uh, to have this uh, project like our partnership with the uh, general conference 
and the missions abroad and even the, the zoning of the Church of the Seventh Day. We are under the Zone 6, under the representation of uh, Pastor Elder Phil Kordrahi and even to the, to the, to the whole uh, community of the IMC, the International Federation of the Church of the Seventh Day, uh, the IMC itself, uh, who is looking at to, so that uh, this project will sustain until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thank you, Brother Ramos, for being at the helm and supporting and guiding the church through this process. And may the word of God reach out to many, many lost souls. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. And may God continue to bless you. Yes, may God bless you, too, always. Brother Godfredo, how were you involved in media? Asado kana involved sa media. Philippine Broadcasting Incorporated. He said he's a member of the Philippine Broadcasting Incorporated. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm. And so he's had experience in that area then? Na naka experience anang area dai so pad. Ah, 10 years ah pulo na katuig akong serbisyo sa broadcasting. He's been in the service for 10 years. Okay. 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 What were the factors involved that helped you determine to donate a radio transmitter for this ministry? Unsay mga rason nga nakahimo sa mga mo decide nga mo donate. Na tungod sa akong nakita sa atong ministry nga hinay kayo. Nya sumala pa sa Jeremias 3:18 nga kung dili nato isulti ang mga balita, ang dugo panilngon sa atong mga kamot. So kung ang pastor lato nga saligan dili sila makalokop sa tibuok kalibutan sa pagwalis mga balita. So naka ko nga kung i-donate ang transmitter nga kantidad og 500,000 para sa wali matabangan ang mga pastor. He's quoting a verse from Jeremiah 3:28, That says we have to preach the gospel all over the world. And he's saying that he's noticed that uh, if we entrust everything to the pastors, the preaching of the gospel, uh, the, the spreading of the gospel to the whole world will take time. So he decided to donate, uh, to, to contribute a great amount, to donate a transmitter for the church to help uh, realize, to help maximize the spreading of the gospel of truth. So how would you like to see them, as having donated the transmitter, to see this radio ministry develop in the future? Unsa ra ko ni mong makita unsa ra ko ni mong gusto nga makita nga sa pun aw sa ni mo unsa yung mga gusto pa nimo nga aron makita nimo sa future nga kini nga radio ministry mas develop pa mi pa ni unsa yung mga pinanglanon akong akong nakita nga kung maka mo mo pag donate na ko ani akong nakita nga ang wali nato dili na ta maglisod ni kan kay mo tsun ila sa radio so nila sa radyo, madungog na nato na nila ang atong wali. Muna kung maabot sa panahon, akong panglantaw, napo ko yung mga transmitter, pwede na ito itarok, bisag asa dapit nga, dili maabot sa atong signal. So, he said that he's noticed that the convenience of the uh, spread, uh, giving the message through the radio station is very convenient to the areas around the station. So he sees that the, 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 the thought of having installed additional repeaters, stations, would help give a much bigger area coverage for the radio ministry. Having been involved in radio and telecommunications in the past, what percentage of the Philippine population listens to radio? So, when I appeal to the radio broadcast in the Philippines, sa imong pangunaon na unsa ka unsa ka porsinto sa katawan sa Pilipinas ang gapaminaw sa radyo 100% 100% Does he need translation He says 100% well, Praise and honor and thanks and glory be to God that we can work together and give our gifts and thank you Father Godfredo for your generosity and your bigness in Christ to contribute to this ministry Thank you very much Brother Roy, you're involved in the locally launched radio station. Yes. Um, what sort of content is currently being streamed or aired through the radio station? Uh, during our uh, test broadcast, uh, uh, formerly, Pastor, 
uh, when we are on the other radio to so have a broadcast we are not, we are practicing live streaming uh, so when our radio station here uh, was uh, put up and and set uh, we uh, do uh, we are doing live streaming okay. uh, and what sort of content are you live streaming what sort of program uh, uh, we are uh, the content of our live streaming we are uh, we are on the religious broadcast uh, to be aired and uh, so that uh, people uh, from the Philippines uh, who are uh, on the other nations they are following also okay. our program and the program consists of music teaching what else is there involved in the in the production uh, our program today it, uh, it is uh, a broadcast of our doctrines uh, doctrinal uh, of our doctrines uh, what uh, the Bible teach and what is uh, it is really agreed uh, by our international international brethren okay uh, yeah. so we are broadcasting it on the air so that is uh, the uh, one content of our live streaming and also uh, during uh, during uh, our broadcast uh, also includes musical uh, religious music okay, okay. another question that comes to mind pastor Roy yes. is who is your target audience that you're reaching out to okay our audience pastor is uh, within the vicinity within the municipal municipality of Maramag and other uh, nearing towns no? so we can cover maybe nine to ten miles okay uh, that is uh, and our target people uh, to listen uh, all the people here uh, in our place who are interested so uh, for our main uh, topics is about the Bible concerning the gospel of Christ so that we can reach to them yeah. and give uh, to them what the Bible teaches uh, mostly uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Great Commission. Okay. Mm. Now so if somebody hears a word on the radio and it moves their heart, how do they contact the church? Uh, so, uh, on my first time of broadcast, Pastor, uh, there is a person uh, who contact me that my our teaching is uh, really different mm. really different to what they hear yeah. so uh, he is uh, uh, listening uh, mm. and he asked me a question okay. uh, because our teaching is different to what he hear yeah. on the other uh, yeah. station especially on broadcasting religious broadcast okay. Okay. how is the radio station funded and what is the, the mechanisms to support this ministry? Yeah, yeah. Um, our, uh, this uh, station, Pastor, the first time we are dreaming about this, uh, about this uh, yeah. radio, uh, radio station because uh, uh, we think that we cannot afford it. So we don't put in mind that it will be materialized. One time, our uh, friend uh, who is not yet a uh, member of our church came to us and he was uh, told about our doctrines. Uh, later on, he was uh, convinced and he has a, a transmitter and a former uh, station uh, sometimes and then uh, he donates it. No? Luckily, uh, the fun of this uh, our station is number one is given by our donate, uh, who donates it. Uh, and then uh, the, the, the building uh, and another uh, and another equipment uh, we are uh, gathering our ideas here in Bukidnon okay. so we are asking also from uh, our brethren uh, in the Philippines to support also our program uh, what are, as you look towards the future what's your vision for media and radio within the Philippines our vision, Pastor, uh, it is uh, accompanying with the visions of the, uh, the, our general church. No? Uh, so that uh, our vision is to help, to help 
the national to help the IMC that we we can spread uh, the gospel not only in our place but it can reach to farther places. Oh, that uh, that is what we are praying to God that He will provide us that uh, uh, resources so that we can uh, go fa to farther places. Uh, oh, that's what we are dreaming. Pastor Roy, yeah. thank you for your insight and your willingness to serve in this ministry. Yeah, and I you. pray that God continues to bless and strengthen and encourage you as you serve within the radio ministry. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank, thank you. you, Pastor God Roy. Bless. Thank God, you. God bless us. Thank you. <laughs> Sister Literal, um, it's delightful yes, to Pastor. share this conversation with you. Now, you're involved in some of the programming yes, for the new Pastor. radio station. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your contribution? Yes. Uh, my program is entitled Children's Hour. Um, this program is a one hour program okay. um, intended for children like somewhat uh, 4 to 12 years old or 16 or some parents who wants to have uh, I see um, who wants to have uh, something to share with their children. Yeah. yeah. Does uh, this I'm, program is it every day or once a week? It's it's once a week. Okay. Every yeah. Sunday, yeah. 3 p.m. to 4 okay. p.m. Okay. And what's your envisaged target audience? What are the age groups of the children that the program is developed for? It's uh, five years old to uh, 16 years old. That's my okay. target audience. And what sort program. of what sort of content is in each hour program? Uh, in my program, I tell Bible stories for kids, then some other true stories that will that can uh, that we can get moral lessons out of it. Okay. okay. I want to share with them. Okay. Um, and what is the goal, the absolute goal, in the end goal of, of radio ministry for children? Yeah, my, my goal for the radio ministry for the children is, is that the ch uh, maybe I can help or we can help the community around that they may brought up their children with, with discipline yeah. or with... Yeah. They will be guided, yeah. yeah in maybe some 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 way or another, yeah. we can help them, and for the children to be entertained as well. Yeah. Do you prepare the content yourself, or do you work within a team environment for the children? Pardon? Do you prepare the content for the children yourself? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah? sir. And are there any others helping you with children's ministry? I was just inspired with my retired uh, teachers that they are also elementary school teachers yeah. Yeah, and they are very kind and very good to children so I want to to share also my talent for giving stories and entertaining children okay. because I love children. Sister Literal, thank you so much for your ministry and we certainly pray that God continues to bless you as you invest what he's given you into the lives of those children. Thank you very much.